Hello and welcome back. Let's play Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 Rise of the Necrons. When we last left off, we, well, we've been kind of battering our way through the sectors, to be honest. We just had the uh, lovely video thing for the for this Nemesis Terrestrial Sector. The Uliet. The Obsidian Depths. Gilla, the Acho Gilla field. Hmm. Well, assault at level 2, the effect is extended to connected systems and to the whole sector at level 3. So apparently, the Aldaris and narrative invasions are not affected. So once you get this thing up to level 3, this sector is completely safe from everyone but the Aldari. And a scripted event. And this lot are so doomed. That was moon point. That is action point. We can take this and then go and beat up on the chaos guys. Take this, then get chaos. This is like, no, you flip the turn. No, coming for you. Oh, come on. Necron's gonna get you. <laughs> These guys are really powerful. It's actually one of my dread fleets that you had to literally swarm them with other ships to make sure you could take them quick. And not rely on your bombers. Do not rely on bombers to fight the Necron. That is a scary ship. That thing looks massive compared to the others. It's like that one and that one merged together to make that. And then added the death that to the front, just for the fun of it. Right. Well, this is a space station, okay? That's where I want to go. I've got two escorts. Scope with the fleet, and I'll send the other one scurrying around. Ready to serve. Moving. On the march. They're not confident, I don't think, because we have um, very durable ships. They take a lot of battering. A lot of beating to get rid of these. I am the dynasty sphere. Uh huh, they will self. Now, since we have to bla blast each other to smithereens, they can guarantee that they're going to come in for me. from the uh, fight with the chaos. As you On 
the launch. What is your command? Ready to serve. Energy to recoalesce. Yeah, so I need to get away for a few seconds while we. Reassembling coherence. Staying away from the Enemy space station. Critical damage. I have to route that thing, so. Shroud strike successful. All power to motor units. Shroud strike complete. Critical damage levied. I serve your glory. Bring it back. I am the dynasty spear. This thing I think is solo the space station, but hey, that's just me. How may I serve? Bum, 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 bum. Adopting defensive protocols. Yeah, let's let these guys hold on for a few seconds while we snatch this place. We've won the fight, that's no ifs or buts on the subject, we have won. Ready to serve. There will be no escape. As you command. What is your command? I serve your glory. He's healing. He's healing. Unlike the other one, so he doesn't have like the long, super long range zap zap ones. But what he does have is an absolute ton of. Keep seeing the bombs. Well, Starburst, you destroy them. I think I'm being a little cocky there trying to think I could take that guy so.
that. Generating during this fight. Enemy vessels suffered critical damage. Boom. And that's half our thing. We have to then start looking at improving, giving him like a weapons back. Weapons, you know, defensive platform around him. Now, if you've got a Star Pulse ship nearby, that's not a problem because the second the ship enemy bombers get close, boom. See, we can do a lot of critical damage on an Aldari ship if we can get them close by. We just deploy a load of assault crews on them. They're frail ships, it's fast ships, and some of the best fighters going. But they're Tad easy to get the hands on. Tad easy to um, uh, net with the destructive firepower. Oh, I don't have enough for a full heal up. Which is sad. I don't want to waste the um, turn. Especially considering that the Chaos guys have literally one fleet. Might as well take take the opportunity and take them both. I didn't spend that great point, right? Okay, my next one I want to look forward to then is level 8 and get the battleship. Because he looks even bigger than this one. And this thing looks scary enough as it is. See, they've got long range cannons. He hasn't got as long range, he's more mid range. But. That's fine because he also packs a rather. Uh, what's this? Dead looking behind you. Oh, this guy wants me to do that. Well, these are the only chaos boys in the whole sector, and I'm only using you know mostly damaged ships, not a whole hundred percent fire, hundred percent power. But hey, they are stronger than the Chaos Boys. Considerably stronger than Chaos Boys. Chaos has to literally like dive bomb in, and if I just stay away from the space station for a bit and engage their forces elsewhere, that leaves the space station completely vulnerable to being being just overwhelmed with sheer firepower. And Chaos does not have a fantastic thing when it comes to their they want to heal up. Okay, you guys want okay, so that's gonna be one point of face spot for them. That's the only one they've got. So they'll go there and then they'll probably strike for one of these two. I could technically just go straight Make to the station. Example, Harvest their crews. Leave the vessels desolate and without purpose. The enemy has seized a strategic I don't area. Do very well at taking up prisoners. Inevitable. They are doomed. Doom size transfer. Are 
these guys on this hand are just Then again, he does deploy quite a lot more fighters with his four launch bays, deploys one fight squad each. So he will deploy a lot more guys. What is your command? The enemy has seized a strategic area. I am the dynasty spear. You have ultra long range, you have mid range, and you have to go around there, but you go to there. That's a really quick reload for that system. Ready to serve. I think it's a dedicated weapon system. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Oh, lots of this thing as well. Let's get you. All yeah. power to motive units. Just we can start doing this. Space Station just got absolutely wrecked. This Mark the ship's easier to worry about it. Carotech swarms have breached the enemy vessel. Oh. Initializing motive power. I am the dearest sphere. Don't do very well at killing them. The enemy has accumulated twenty five per cent of strategic points. Yes, my liege. Going blown up. I can't do it anyway. Okay, alright, and here 
retreat. Well, it was everything goes planned. The enemy has seized a strategic area. They're killing turrets. They have no turrets. Those fighters are tearing them a piece, tearing them a new one. What? Enemy has accumulated fifty per cent of strategic oh, points. Engaging. Reassembling coherence. Engage fail. You have accumulated twenty five per cent of strategic points. Someone else hiding in there. <laughs> We're too good at killing them. That's why I never successfully do the um, uh, boarding ones. I never get the I never get the boarding ones done because I just tend to blow them up. I guess on Dari ships, that's not so hard because they don't have shields, so you just go blah 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 and you just board it with like 20 ac assault actions. Or you get the upgrade that lets you have more assault actions per, per shot. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that. So wait then. Next turn we'll recover quite a chunk, then we'll just heal up completely. Yeah, we're gonna get off slash gulag here very shortly and then we're attacking Nemesis Teresa. So yep, we are naturally running quite nicely on schedule. And I'm keeping them from being able to uh, advance that threat meter by constantly tuning it down. Anything to turn it? They're an annoying faction. They they're very good at getting the um, take no prisoner boarding thing. Mostly because that's what they specialize in. That's their speciality. Is boarding and killing crew. They have weapons designed specifically to kill, take out enemy crew. Necron don't do that as much, which is weird because they have the whole anti-life thing. You'd think, actually, with the anti-life thing going on, the Necron would be very good at killing boarding actions. But, uh, no. No, not really. Hey, you got an invasion coming out, come. Invasion! Uh, 
Sounds like someone's coming into that thing soon. Maybe we covered it so quickly. That was very cheap to get that fed in. Soon. That is not scripted, so uh, yeah. So if I can just literally keep this for a turn, I can make that so that never happens. How's that for a little ship trick on my own? Okay, do we have anyone else that's being invaded? Oh, Bella's being invaded. That's 520, and that's way less than what he has. There you go. Every three, every six turns, we get one battle plan. Plus, where will we steal? Wow, apart from the Imperials and Tyranny, there's no one actually has any influence in the sector. And that's because we haven't snagged the last planet. And that's only because the Tyranny Remnant is actually keeping them in, keeping them in the game. We have one of our fleets here, so it's just not avoided. Yeah, let's see, you coming next turn. So, yeah, we're, we're set there. They're pretty much safe. You got four turns. Not gonna happen. <laughs> because I've already set up a. <laughs> so, I've got the, the weird field thingy sorted out. Ah! I'm gonna move five ships, see to cut off information. We get battle plans. I get the boarding action. And you don't have a strong ship set. And we get the point, we get the whole uh, thing from capturing the system for the uh, other faction, the other dynasty. So they should be happy with us. And they promise fealty. I've got the theme tune from Gladius in my head. I do mean the game Gladius. Kill everything. How may I serve? On the march. They don't have any adopting defensive protocols. Right. Star Pulse wave thing, so inevitable. It's sad because if I did have a Star Pulse to generate, I'd just defend them with a Star Pulse. Those look like torpedoes or boarding spores. Hence why I sent two guys out to fight to intercept. Because not picking up a ships. This might be going in the wrong direction. Yep. Battle plans. There will be 
will be no escape. Them. We'll get close enough for boarding them. Lightning, we don't lightning strike the living hell out of this thing. We're gonna lightning strike you to the bad goal. Ready to serve. Okay, target him for now until we get his thing down. We don't get affected by that, so... Energy to recoalescence! Thing, I've still got more than boarding actions and all sorts. What is your command? Okay. Board him. Ready to serve. Internal damage registered. I am the dynasty spear. On the march. Inevitable. Ready to serve. Reassembling coherence. They seem determined to get him. Yeah. I'm 
objective failed. What? Did they steal my did they steal my um data just for the winking? successful. Oh you Fray little ones are feasting. You little toe rags. What is your command? They took out the ship. They stole the data right right before I killed them. The enemy vessel. Ooh, you You little... Oh man, they ha had that! And then they went and stole the data back at the last second. Tell you speaking, you should actually have the guy who steals the data retreat. If he retreats out of the battlefield, then it cannot be stolen. So tell you speaking, I should have had the... The little light cruiser steal the data. And then have him leave the battlefield. You'll know, teleport him out away from the rest of them and then go away from and then head off the field. And then it would have um, been a bit of a moot point because he would have had the data. Done. Lost well, both our escorts. Not really that much of an issue, to be honest. Say it's my lord. He didn't say my 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 boss's name. He said my name. I may have just become a dynasty of my own. Oh lord and region of. Yep. So yay, found the point and got three hundred resources for that. Hopefully that's not going to bite the bias in the backside. Macken, you've, you've just learnt you're um, in charge of the fleet. Or the fleet. Uh, your great fleet, my lord. Yes, but they're not saying my name, they're saying your name. Ah. Okay, so. Might be ideal. I don't have a, a big shipyard in this area. Look, the Dolman Gate, and quite frankly, that's a bit pathetic. You know what? I left these guys here. Take over there from there. You join us in Nemesis Teresa. The free fight, free fleet fight. Might as well bring a third fleet. Great, Ark. Okay. Yes, um, you mean our Lord? Uh, yes. So I think right now, I think the Lord is you. What? I think you've just taken up the mantle of Lord. I've just become a pharaoh, haven't I? Of Lord of a Dynasty. Yes, pretty much. Oh, great. That's going to go down well, the boss. Right, that's all for this time. So until then, until then. I don't think my boss is going to be very happy with me. I just took a terror. I just got given the... He didn't declare fealty to him, he declared fealty to me. Now if I was a silent king, different story. 
You know, he's technically my boss of boss. Even if I claim dynasties, it doesn't matter. Everyone knows he's in charge. Though, well, since he's been asleep for so long, the old adage has come into play. While the cat's away, the mice will play. And some of the other dynasties are getting a little case of he's asleep and he's not guarding us, so um, he won't know if I take some extra territory for myself and build myself a new army and break ranks. Anyway, that's all for next time. So until, you, until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya.